Hello, hello, happy freaking September. I am, I could not be happier that we are in September. I am so excited to celebrate the B month, the Burr months, finally. September is the start of, well, for me, really like July is the start of, but we'll call it September. September is I feel like the start of such a fun season where you get to be so creative and all of your senses come alive, the decorations come out. It's just such an exciting month in my opinion. I love fall. Fall is my favorite. Um, I think a lot of people love fall, but I don't think you guys really grasp how much I despise summer. I don't like summer. I've never liked summer. I don't like being hot. I don't care about the beach or the pool or any of that. I am like a haunted house, blackout curtains, I want all the lights off kind of gal. So my time has finally arrived. September is here. So what I'm going to start off by doing is going over some of my newer fun fall fashion finds. I'm not going to do a ton of them, but I am going to show you just some of the more recent new ones. And then we'll actually do kind of like a little field trip around around here and I'll show you some of the amazing fall Amazon decorations. Some I've had for a while, some most of them are newer this year. Since we moved into a house, I had more room to decorate, which was super fine with me. I was ecstatic about it. So let's jump into it without further ado. Um, if you are new here, hello, please you guys feel free to engage in the comments. I love when you guys engage in the comments. It makes me feel way less like I'm talking to myself. So please, please, please feel free to engage in the comments. Make sure you click the follow button. And then if you are not already, you can follow me on Instagram at Diet. So happy September. Welcome to the Burr months. I am so freaking excited. I'm drinking a homemade pumpkin spice latte as we speak. All right, so first thing, these, how freaking cute are these, y'all? These pumpkin slippers, adorable. They're very cozy. They're 20 bucks, and if you click on them, you'll see there's other options, but I loved these, and I think they are just the cutest. I have too many slippers for sure, but I didn't have any Halloween slippers, and they just make it... I don't know what it is, but it's like when fall comes around, I want everything to be inspired, including my slippers. These are adorable. They are, they're actually really well made. They have a big, like a thicker base on them. So you can wear them outside or whatever. If you're like me, I take the trash out or get the mail in my slippers, but they do have a nice thicker rubbery base. And then the inside is super, super soft. So I had to have these as soon as I saw them, they just made me so happy. So First thing is my pumpkin slippers. I'm loving them. Next is this, it's actually a four piece set. I don't know if I grabbed all of it. I just tried it on this morning and recorded a reel in it. So it, yeah, I, I got everything. So get this, you guys, this is under $30 and you get, there's tons of color options, but of course I went with the orange and black because I felt like it was very on brand for the season. So it comes with these silky little shorts. It comes with this lace top, this little like lace, little tinky bra thing. These panties. So you already have this kind of like sexy little set. And then if you wanna have a little more coverage, you can throw on the panties. And then it also comes with a robe and you know, your little robe tie, whatever. I mean, for 27 bucks, I love it. I also have a pair of like, I call them my like mom cozy jammies that I'm gonna share next, but these were kind of my like spicy, you know, fall jammies. Again, there is plenty of other colors, but I went with the orange because I felt like the orange and black was super, like it's giving jack-o-lantern and I was here for it. Next, now these, Thank you guys for jumping on. You guys, please feel free to let me know where you're watching from. Um, again, I always get like kind of awkward because I feel like I'm talking to myself. So if you, um, I love when you guys chat. <laughs> 
Next, all right, y'all, if you don't add anything else to cart fashion-wise, add these. I didn't bring the bottoms down here because they were in my dirty laundry basket and I just grabbed, you know, whatever I could grab out. They are so soft. Look how freaking cute they are. I love the big fat black cat. We got Oregon in the house, New Jersey. I'm in North Carolina. These are, they are so freaking cute. They're comfortable. I did a large. I don't like my pajamas to be tight at all. Um, I'm a pretty true size 6'8", closer to an 8, and I love I love them. I was so excited. My boyfriend was like, I actually do love those. And I was like, I know. Louisiana in the house. That is actually where I was born. I was born in Mandeville. We got Missouri. So I'm telling y'all though, these jammies, they have long, uh, the pants are long. Missouri, Alaska, Michigan. I don't think we've had any repeats. Look at that. I love it. Texas. So... I'm telling y'all, if you don't get anything else fashion-wise, get these pajamas. You'll be so happy. I love the big fat black cat, and then they have the little pumpkins on them, and they're super soft. Northern Indiana. Next is this two-piece set. So I got this, and again, I recorded a reel. So generally, all of those reels are going to be, you'll be able to see them on my Amazon storefront, on my Instagram, and on my TikTok but I'm kind of showing you just, I'm not going to try them on, obviously, but you'll see those actually what they look like on in the next few days. This little set is adorable. I love the color. And, you know, you could totally do this just for lounging, but I tried it on and I actually think it'd be really cute with like a little pair of beige or white beauty or booties. Oh, I was re Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um... I think it would actually be really cute with like a little pair of beige booties. I love the kind of little cowl neck on it. And then the shorts are a good length for, you know, either lounging or kind of wearing out. You could also pair it with just like a little basic pair of sneakers. The top is pretty long. So what I did when I tried it on, I'm 5'3 and it's pretty long on me. I just kind of tucked it into the shorts and it was very, very cute. It's really well made. It's a knit ribbed material. Um, it's a little heavier because it's it's good quality, which I appreciate. I know a lot of times with Amazon fashion, it can be very hit or miss, but the quality of this is really good. <clears throat> Next, I haven't opened this yet because, but I already know I'm going to love it because I have this sweater in two other colors, but I felt like I needed, I just needed the orange, like this burnt orange color. Again, I have this in two other colors. I wear a medium and I absolutely love it. So it was a yes for me. Uh, it is a turtleneck that kind of rolls down or you could totally wear it up, but rolls down. It has nice long sleeves on it. It's a great length to wear with leggings or you can tuck. Um, I generally like to tuck mine into the front of you know jeans or it is long enough again that you can wear it sorry you could wear it over leggings with some booties for sure and this is on major sale today it's normally 60 right now it's on sale for 36 it's very well made totally worth the 36 in my opinion and like I said I love it so much I have it in three colors now but I just felt like this burnt orange was going to be absolutely gorgeous not only through you know September October but going into November with um with Thanksgiving, I think this will be gorgeous. Only small and medium left. Oh no! I wonder if you click on it, you know how sometimes it'll give you other options? Like if you click on it and scroll down, sometimes it'll give you other options of like the same product or a similar one. I will say the pajamas are big on me. <laughs> I'm like 157, 5'3", and the pajamas are quite big on me, but I like them like that, so just keep that in mind. All right. So that is most of the fashion picks, except I need to go forward a little bit because I know there's one that I forgot. Sorry. So this Halloween doodle shirt, you can find it on my uh, Instagram. I posted this, I guess, last week. It is so stinking cute, y'all. 
And I know t-shirts especially, I feel like t-shirts and sweatshirts can be very hit or miss on Amazon. Sometimes they're kind of like cardboard material or they don't fit at all like you would expect. This is absolutely darling. The material is so soft and it fits great. I get a large, I wanted to be able to wear it with leggings and be able to like tie it to the side or tuck it into jeans. Just look how cute that is. I think this would be really fun for moms and teachers. I am neither of those and I still love it. So, <laughs> but super, super cute. And it's under $17, it's $16.99. I believe you can get other color options too. I'm pretty sure that this wasn't the only color, but I thought it was so, so cute. And when it came in, I was thrilled with the, um, the material. And then I wore it to Target and I got so many compliments on it. Everybody was like, I love your Halloween shirt. So I was very thrilled with it. I'm sorry guys, it is so hot in my kitchen right now. Okay, let's get into some fun decor. So I'm gonna turn you guys around. I got these little mushroom, so they're just these tiny little mushroom holders, and then you put a tea light candle in there. They're only $5.39. They're normally $10.99, but right now they're 51% off, and I just think they are the cutest thing. Um, I got one for over here, and then I have another one I'll show you in just a sec, but I absolutely love the little red, kind of like red and orange ombre. These would also be so adorable for outside, like an outdoor setup but I just think they're darling and they're $5. I love, I'll keep these up year round. I love just the extra little touch that they add to my space. Um, this guy, just in case anybody wants to know, came from the Target bullseye section. This is from Marshalls and this is from Hobby Lobby. But my little mushrooms are from Amazon. And here is the other one. I decorated like two weeks ago. So we've been living in fall land for a while now. Now these, stop, I freaking love them. Y'all, they're handmade. So they come from a small business, they're handmade and they smell great. I just don't have the heart to burn them because they're so darn cute. But I have burned them once just for a picture, but they smell, they just have a really, really light smell to them. It's just kind of smells like a fresh, like very light, fresh smell, but I love that they're handmade. I love that it's a small business and I just think they are absolutely precious. They come in a four piece for under $15. They would also make a really fun little gift idea too. Uh, we'll go back over here for the Autumn Hayride candle. I tell everyone, if you're gonna get one candle all season, get the Autumn Hayride candle. It smells amazing it just like encapsulates everything about fall and I think you know September through December it's such a good scent and it really fills up the whole space for us um we have a smaller house so you know take that for what you will but it's it really does put out such a great smell and it just puts you immediately in that fall mood I love this candle they have so many good ones I actually saw that they're coming out with a Harry Potter line which I am absolutely stoked about do we have any other Harry Potter fans in the house because I live and breathe Harry Potter I'm a huge fan so I'm really excited that they're coming out with a candle line next we have this little rug I thought this was so cute and you could do this in a bathroom I just did it right in front of my kitchen sink and it is just so cute it's 20 bucks I love the colors in it. Um, it's definitely made more to be like a bath mat. It doesn't have a ton of grip on the bottom, but you could always add the little sticky things on there. Again, we don't have kids, so we don't really have anybody running around um, that could slip on it, but you could always add some little grippies if you wanna do like I did and add it to your kitchen. Um, or, you know, otherwise you could add it to your bathroom. But I was pumped about this. I was so satisfied that it came in looking like the photo. And I just love the pop of color that it adds. Let's see if there's anything else in here I want to show you. Yes. So my, my little cup. I love this cup. I think it is so stinking cute. I know I say cute all the time and it's probably so annoying. I love my little cup. It's under 20 bucks. Got your little bats, your little ghosties. And it does come with the bamboo lid and it comes with the aluminum straw. 
air of the metal straw and then it also comes with a little thingy like the little brush cleaner but i just think this is so precious i love it i've been drinking out of it like every day since i got it okay then we have these vintage coffee mugs now i have wanted these for a while and I'm so glad I finally just pulled the trigger and got them because they're absolutely beautiful. I love the design on them. The cat is definitely my favorite. Here's the pumpkin. But they're just giving that super, you know, hold on. I feel like they're giving a really fun, like, 60s, 70s Halloween vibe. Just, you know, when I think of, like, vintage Halloween, I always think of this cat because my mom always had the, you know, the little, like, cutouts you could put in the window and there was always one that had the little cat on it that looked like this. So it always brings me back to when I was younger. Um, they are 55% off and you get all four of them. So these were definitely one of my more exciting, you know, I was really excited about these. Keep it creepy. And then they have the little sayings on them too, but love how these look. They just bring me so much joy. I'm so here for a vintage Halloween kind of vibe. So... I was really excited about those. All right, let me just make sure there's nothing else in the kitchen. I know there is, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm gonna jump ahead a second. Uh, so this is just a little glass pumpkin. I got this, I think, two years ago, and I like to use it just to put some of the little Halloween Oreos in. Um, it's just a glass, you know, glass jar but you can put anything in there I just think it's a really pretty piece and I've had it for years um just super simple but adds a little touch of fun and then uh I don't obviously have these lights up but it would have been easier if I would have gone with these the you know the leaves that already have the lights entwined and then I love that they have the battery pack so that you know now I have to go back and forth and have this kind of tacky cord hanging out so I would have much rather have had the ones that I am, you know, looking at right now on the carousel because they already have the lights intertwined and then they could all be together on one instead of kind of hanging separately and having the cord showing. So just an idea with that. Okie dokie. I think we can move to the living room where there's lots of fun stuff. Let me just get situated here. All right. So we'll start with the LED or the, uh, what are these called? Oh gosh, the word just left my head. Oh my gosh, what is the word? Uh, um, <laughs> key letters. Okay. So they just take batteries, but I had an empty space on this shelf and I thought that would be excuse me, really fun. And then I actually ordered some more because I think they'll be really cute to put in this window to light up at night. So these little marquee letters were under 20 bucks and you just need two AA batteries for each one. And again, I think they'll be really cute. We don't have a lot of light in this room at in the evening, which I like, but my boyfriend can't stand. So I thought these would be a great way and a fun way to incorporate more light in the room. And then they are also going to look really cute in this little window um, for, oh, hello, I'm on a live. Um, I think they'll look really cute in that window for like Halloween and at nighttime. Okay, the little bats, you guys probably know about the little bats because everybody uses them, but they are so cute and they're super easy to use. They're $6 and you get a pack with a ton of them. So I have some here, I have some on the back door, and they come with the little sticky stuff you need for the back, um, but they are so much fun, and I did something a little different this year, which I'm really, really liking, so I stuck them to the inside of the lampshade, and then when you turn it on, isn't that so fun? I just love that. I was really excited about how that turned out. So I just stuck some to the inside of the lampshade, and then... I have some back there on the back door, but they are really cute. You know, especially you could use them on the front porch too, but I love those. 
This was a new addition this year is the pop-up Halloween tree. I added a lot of my own lights. That's probably why it looks a little messy right now with my own little lights on there, but it does come with lights already intertwined in it and it just pops up. So it's super cool. It comes with just this one little rod you put in the middle and then it just pops right up. It's five feet. So it's super easy to store and collapse. Again, I added a bunch of my own lights, so it looks a little um, janky right now, but at night it looks really, really pretty. So it comes with the lights and then it has these little like black cats in it, which I thought was cute. There is other options too. There's like an orange one with little pumpkins on it, but I went with the black with the, um, with the cats because I thought it was super cute. And it's 30 bucks, five feet tall, pops up, super easy to store. Jump ahead a little bit. Oh, add an orange blanket. Just get an orange blanket because I feel like no matter where you get one, but I saw this one and it was only $12.99 and I thought it looked like a really pretty blanket. Um, the one that I have on the Amazon storefront, this one is obviously different, but I feel like adding an orange blanket to any space just really, it adds more color. It makes it feel more cozy. And I just love the color of like an, any kind of orange, but I'll add it to like the end of our beds, the end of the couch. And I feel like it just really makes it so much more cozy and it just adds an additional little pop of color. But that was a great price for that blanket. So I picked that one. Now I did add some additional lights. So you can see I added some orange and purple lights to mine. Um, but there is a bunch of different options for some fun lighting on there, which I love. I always say, you know, the more lighting, the better when it comes to decor. I love, love, love lights. I love twinkle lights. And here are, here's a really good set. I just highlighted it. Um, I got these in the other night and it comes with 12 packs and they're already, they already have the battery in them. All you have to do is turn them on. So I wonder if I turn the light off in here, if you could see better. I mean, a little bit, but at nighttime, it's so pretty. So I just intertwined some, you know, in that basket. I added some to my little Halloween village up here. By the way, all of these little pieces for this Halloween village came from Target in the bullseye section. They were $5 each and I was so excited. I just think they're adorable. The little, they all light up. I'm actually thinking about spray painting them all black though. I think that might look cooler. So that is a great deal on that 12 pack. I just think, you know, the more twinkle lights, the better. And then let's see. I did link a couple of fun little garlands. This one is from Target, but there is a bunch of different options that are super inexpensive. I feel like adding garlands to basically anything is just so fun. You could put them on trees. You can put them across, you know, the top of your bed, across coffee tables or, you know, uh, entertainment stands. I love to add them to like my blanket ladder. I added some twinkle lights here. So there are so many things that you can do with these little garlands. You could add them, you know, up top. That's kind of the vibe that I have up top and then on the stairs. So I used an additional garland on this one and then I added some twinkle lights to this too. I really need to just do like a photo at night because at night it's so magical, but it'd be hard for you guys to see everything. So let's go back in here and we'll go through the last couple things. So I did get this little witch's cauldron, but I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it needs an additional piece. So it's supposed to, it's supposed to mist. And I thought I read it correctly that it was, and the mister was included, but I don't think it is. It has the lights, so this changes lights, but I tried adding water to it, plugging it in. So I think maybe there's an additional piece. So I am just gonna go back on there and I'll read, you know, if there's an additional piece that I need and I'll just get that. But I thought this was the perfect size, really cute for the front porch when we have trick or treaters. And we are still deciding if we want to have a Halloween party this year. Hi, Shep. 
Thank you guys for jumping on. Hope you're having an awesome Friday and happy September. Now, here are two little books. I'm a big book junkie. I read a lot. Hi, yeah. And I wanted, I normally just do like thriller, murder, mystery. That's, you know, usually my go-tos, but I wanted something just kind of like fun and lighthearted for the fall season. So both of these had really great reviews. This is called The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, A Warm and Witchy Hug of a Book. Um, do you guys want me to read you like the gist of it or I don't mind to, but I don't know if you would be like, can you please stop? <laughs> um, I did start this one. I'm on page 47 and so far it is really cute. It's just lighthearted. It's very cozy. It's definitely more of an adult read just because it has like some language in it, but you know, up to you. So I got this one. And then I got The League of Gentlewoman Witches, Overflowing with Heart and Humor, This Clever Romance and Chance. So this is supposedly like kind of a witchy romance. Um, I can read you the back of this one. It's super short. Miss Charlotte's Miss Charlotte Pettifer belongs to a secret society skilled in a very particular art. That is to say, although it mustn't be said too loudly, witchcraft. When rumors of the long-lost amulet of Black Barrel start to circulate, it's up to Charlotte to make sure this powerful talisman doesn't go into the wrong hands, which is precisely what happens when the evil Lady Armitage gets her grip on it. When Charlotte demands the help of the rakish pirate Alex O'Reilly, they set off to find the amulet. But there's one problem. Pirates and witches are sworn enemies, and to be seen with one would surely break the witchcraft code, and that's before the sparks begin to fly. The Princess Bride meets Jane... Oh, that's a review. But I thought this was cute. It just sounded very simple, lighthearted. I could use a little bit more of that in my life. Um, I will read the back of this one too because it's, it's, I really like the direction it's going. As one of the few witches in Britain, Micah Moon knows she has to hide her magic, keep her head down and stay away from other witches so their powers don't mingle and draw attention. And as an orphan who lost her parents at a young age and was raised by strangers, she used to, she's used to being alone and follows the rules with one exception. An online account where she posts videos pretending to be a witch. She thinks no one will take it seriously, but someone does. An unexpected message arrives begging her to travel to the remote and mysterious nowhere house to teach three young witches how to control their magic. It breaks all of the rules, but Micah goes anyway and is immediately tangled up in the lives and secrets of not only her three charges, but also an, an absent archaeologist, a retired actor, two long-suffering caretakers, and Jamie. The handsome and prickly librarian of Nowhere House would do anything to protect the children, and as far as he's concerned, a stranger like Micah is a threat, an irritatingly appealing threat. As Micah begins to find her place at Nowhere House, the thought of belonging somewhere feels like a real possibility, but magic isn't the only danger in the world. And when Peril comes knocking at the door, Micah will need to decide whether to risk everything to protect a found family she didn't know she was looking for. So, I just think they're going to be super cute, lighthearted, I'm here for it. And it's just kind of to break up the monotony and get me in like a cozy spirit, you know? Nothing like waking up early or like a, a rainy morning or evening and grabbing some coffee and reading a good book. I'm here for it. Then I just added a couple. We're getting to the end, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and bearing with me. Hopefully, I um, I did okay. <laughs> uh, I thought these Betsy Johnson little skull earrings were so cute. They're under $15. Um, this is a two-gallon drink dispenser, and I thought this would be really cool for Halloween parties. It is a little more on the higher-priced side, but... It's pretty big and it is glass, so just keep that in mind. This Halloween sweatshirt, I love it. I have this one, I have to dig it out. I still have some of my fall stuff in closets and, and in the attic, but I have this one. It says squad and then it has like all of your slasher, favorite slashers on it. Big slasher girl myself. Those are my favorite kind of movies, like Michael Myers and or, uh, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw, those are like, my go-tos, but I watch them year-round. My boyfriend thinks I'm weird. Maybe I am. If you have a diffuser, these are amazing. We had a diffuser in our old apartment, but I think it was starting to kind of bother the cats, so I didn't keep using it, but these all smell incredible. Really, really yummy for your diffuser. Oh, and then I actually need to set this up, so hold on one second.
did with the little the little thing for it, but I have it somewhere. But look how cute my little garden flag is. <gasps> it's very vintagey. Uh, $6.99. I love it. And then this is the little steak that you need to go with it. I don't know where I've put mine, but it did come in. So now that it's September, I'm going to put my Halloween flag out. But I thought this one was adorable. So I think that is everything. What would you guys guess is the most popular item from today's live stream? I always like to ask. I can see it on my end, but you guys can't see it on your end. So tell me what you think the most popular item was. I'll give you a hint. It was towards the beginning. I just love my little pumpkin rug and my pumpkin slippers though. They're so cute. I'd love to know your guess at what was the most popular item. I am making pork chops for dinner and then I think I'm gonna convince him to watch Hocus Pocus with me because the time has come. Can you guys hear me? Or are you ignoring me? No, no guesses? No guesses, guesses? All right, well, it was the four-piece pajama set. I love to see it. If you're not already, make sure you're following me here. I'll be going live several times throughout September, sharing a lot of new finds that I had come in. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at a and I'm on Facebook, I'm on TikTok. So you can find me on pretty much any of those, but make sure you're following my storefront at least because that's where I post things first. And then you can kind of scroll through there and see try-ons and home decor and things like that actually in action. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm roasting. But I'm gonna get started on dinner. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for hanging out with me for a while. And I hope that you found some things that maybe, you know, gave you some a serotonin boost like they do me. It's not hard, all I need to see is Halloween decorations. But, all right, have a great Friday. Have a safe and relaxing Labor Day weekend. And